Warning, viewer discretion is advised. ROF Bridgend, ROF 53, filling factory number 2, located in Bridgend, South Wales, was one of the largest of 16 World War II, UK government-owned, Royal Ordnance Factory munitions filling factories. Of great significance to the Britain's war effort, at its peak of production it employed around 40,000 people, said to be the largest of ever factory in Britain's history. At the end of World War I, much of Britain's armaments manufacturing capacity was run down, as its capacity was no longer needed. In the period leading up to World War II, consideration was given to Britain's war capability. As shown in the Spanish Civil War, the Luftwaffe were more than capable of accurately bombing many of Britain's key installations, which were also undersized to meet forecast required volumes. In 1935, it was therefore agreed to keep armaments research at the Woolwich Arsenal in southeast London, while production would be transferred to two new factories at ROF Chorley in Lancashire, filling factory number one, and ROF Bridgend in Glamorgan, filling factory number two. As war planning progressed, it would be realized that this plan was flawed in both sustainability and capacity, and additional facilities would have to be built. Staff from the Royal Arsenal helped design and, in some cases, managed the construction of many of the new Royal Ordnance Factories, ROFs, and ROF filling factories. Just over 40 ROFs were opened by the end of World War II, nearly half of them filling factories, together with a similar number of factories built and run by private companies, such as ICI's Nobel Explosives, although these explosive factories were not called ROFs. Bridgend was chosen for three main reasons. It was remote from the areas most vulnerable to enemy bombing in South and East England. Bridgend was located in a national development area, having a plentiful supply of unemployed labor at the time. The area enjoyed excellent logistics, being close to three major ports, Cardiff, Swansea, Barrie, and close to the massive South Wales coalfield to supply power and Port Talbot for steel. In April 1936, 900 acres, 3.6 square kilometers, of land in Waterton was compulsorily purchased. The site chosen was farmland next to the Great Western Railway South Wales Main Line, which offered additional benefits. Located on what was a reclaimed marshland, a persistent local legend has it that the resultant dampness often resulted in the area being covered in a light mist or fog, which further protected it from bombing. Even if so, the drainage of the marshes caused the mist to cease. Further acreage was purchased in Brackla, leading to the development of ROF-11 and ROF-41. In April 1937, the Great Western Railway began constructing the 24 miles, 39 kilometers, of internal railway needed to supply the sites. This included a marshalling yard at the main site, sightings at Brackla Ridge, and the construction of Tremaine's Halt near Waterton for worker access. A footbridge was also constructed here, the remnants of which can be seen today. G. Walker and Slater Ltd., and Sir Lindsay Parkinson and Company. Ltd. were the contractors awarded the project to build ROF 53. Sir Robert McAlpine won the contract to build ROF 11 and ROF 41, and the magazine tunnels. In all, the complex consisted of over 1,000 buildings, serviced by 60 miles, 97 kilometers, of roads. By 1940, the sites were in full production, with nearly 40,000 people working at the factory, the largest single-site employer in the country. ROF Bridgend stopped production in 1945, having been designated a war-duration-only ROF. It remained open as a store until it was closed in 1946, when it was broken up and sold to property developers. Many of the specialized buildings were simply bulldozed, and like many of the former ROFs it became an industrial estate, now designated as Bridgend Industrial Estate. The administration buildings were taken over after the war to become the Glamorgan County Police Headquarters, which are now the South Wales Police Headquarters. 1. The land between the two former facilities to the south of Brackla Hill was developed as a large housing complex, now simply called Brackla. So, hey guys, welcome back to the sh my shorts uh, thing. So, Right now, I'm at the ROF 57 or 53, and uh, I had a look around. Everything up here is a bit intact, but the um, the uh, ROF uh, entrance is blocked in, being concreted. So that's why the concrete thing is there. So, back again. So, yeah. Today's the day, peeps! Right, this is the time to do the ROF 53. 
on my own, but I'll actually meet one of my mates on Saturday. That'll be in another that'll be in another video, possibly, possibly in the same video. But this is my old school. That's my old school but I but I'm not bothered about it. Uh this is not merch. So I got my mask on just to keep my face covered up. So I don't I don't wanna be thing. It's a lovely day but I had to I'm gonna cover my face up now. So yeah. Why did you pick up dog shit? Oh, for fuck's sake. Is that a lucky car, Lori? Okay. I'm back with my camera. I should have got a GoPro as well, but... I've got this to cope with. <laughs> so yeah, I'm recording on two things now. So what I'm gonna do, two angle. Holy cow. So, what I've been looking for has been basically the uh, OOF and Bajend or Blackwell Industrial. But I found it. I think all the exit, all the entrances and exits are a bit. How do you say it? Blocked in or? concreted up and all that. I did find it after though, but I found a sniper shack as well. It has a good view. There you go, very good view. Found it. Just along. Ah. Just along here somewhere. It's just there. Where the fuck am I getting up here? How am I gonna get up here? Up here. Hold oh, on. Yeah. I got hit by this bloody branch. I'm out of breath. Holy shit. This is what it's like for me walking up here with a sun in my eyes. <laughs> so, if you like the video, please subscribe and notifications on. And please do subscribe and uh, with notifications on. Subscribe, comment what I should do next. Look for another OOF to find and have a look around in. Or do that me subscribe. I said that a few times now. Oh shit, hello. Am I gonna be alright there? No I ain't. I'm trying to find that OOF the chef again, but... It's muddy. Isn't it this way? This is kind of like old trail, but... I'm not... I'm not really... Ah, it is that way.
Is it? I can't remember where I got it now, well, I don't know where I got it. I don't know where I actually managed to find it, but I did see it. So we have this thing. That's a cracking view, eh? Cracking view. But it's been crumpled up and everything. What's around here? Oh shit, it's a fly tip. Holy shit, it's a fly tip. This isn't what I mean. You'll be able to see it more clearly in the inside, but you might not be able to see all the thing in. There you go. I got a little bit of light in right now. This is what it's like. Oh, hello. That's cracking. This is the cracking view. You might not be able to see anything now, but oh, no. Got a cracking view over there. Another next view up here. Another one there, which is cracking and all. But you might be able to see the whole of Berkeley without the trees in the way. So, yeah. This is the ammo shack I had. So I found it. Looks to be a bit burnt. Looks to be anyway. So all the trash around though has loads. That's what it looks like in the outside. Outside. I mean whatever. It's a chunk that you're missing from it. Possibly all the vandals and all that. So if you do like the video, please subscribe and notifications on. And uh, I got this hat from Ben Phillips himself. So, obviously, obviously I said, obviously I said, I got this hat from Ben Phillips himself, but. Yeah. Yeah, I won't tell you the whole story about me being the uh, what I am. Oh, for fuck's sake! I've done that again. So I'll be walking back now. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe and peace. This site where I am now used to be an ROF in the World War Two age. So if you want to know what ROF stands for, it's World Ordnance Factory. So. I'm just having a look around. I've got something for my friend, this is what I mean. The rest is a bit of metal, but it's solid. It feels solid anyway. I'm not a salvager or savage. I'm just looking around, seeing what there is to find out about this area. I did find the, uh, a sniper base, a sniper, sniper hurt though, which is a good thing. That was part of my mission actually, to find every bit of the arrow, the camo thing, but it was man-made. Man, I got answered the wrong. And now, this is what the ROF looks like now, in back the industrial estate. As you can see, it is back the industrial estate. So, yeah. This is what it's like now. Boggy, weeded, over fucking everything, and you get to see everything. So, yeah. I might go back to the uh, sniper shed shack and uh, I'll quickly have a look at that and record it for you again. It won't be much, but yeah. I did try to get in, but. I'm not, I'm not going to bother getting it in now because I know every all the uh, 
all the panels might be all locked up now. I know there's two that might be open. I'm 100% not sure though. There you go. So this is my mission. This has been my mission for like two weeks. Well, two months, I said. So, everybody's, uh, that's bullshit. You know what? So, yeah. Hope you do like the video. Please subscribe, notifications on. And, uh, yeah. Nobody's gonna bother us again, like, Possibly is, but you never know. We're going back up to the Arrow West Sniper Shack as well. I'm just quickly on the scope out for Saturday, I am, because my mate and me and my mate are having a little scope out with her uh, things. I'm gonna get a different angle of that shot. There you go. I got a little bit of light in there now. This is what it's like. Oh hello. That's cracking. This is the cracking view. You might not be able to see anything now. Oh hello. Got a cracking view over there. Another nice view up here. Another one there, which is cracking and all. But you might be able to see the whole of black without the trees in the way. So yeah. This is the ammo shack I had. So I found it. Looks to be a bit burnt. Looks to be anyway. So all the trash around though are loads. That's what it looks like in the outside. Outside. I mean, whatever. There's a chunk that you're missing from it. Possibly all the vandals and all that. So, if you do like the video, please subscribe, notifications on. And uh, I've got this hat from Ben Phillips himself. So, Obviously, obviously I said, obviously I said, I got this hat from Ben Phillips himself, but. Yeah. Yeah. I won't tell you the whole story about me being the, what I am. Oh, for fuck's sake. I've done that again. So, I'll be walking back now. So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and peace. I could take some pictures as well as we got it. Oh, yeah. It's a big sight going on there. Oh, ho, 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 ho. good view. I got a shot and a bit. Good show, good show, actually, good show. You, off, you. I'll put you down. You, me. I see, I see a person now. Literally far away though, that massively far away. Yeah, I see it.